Hi, boys and girls, welcome back. Today we're going to be learning how to divide using partial quotients. In the partial quotients method of dividing, multiples of the divisor are subtracted from the dividend, and then the partial quotients are added together. Remember, the divisor is the number that you're dividing by, and the dividend is your total, the larger number. Here's an example. If I have 862 divided by 7, I'm going to think, first of all, I see my number 862 is in the hundreds place. The easiest place to start is to start with my divisor and see if I can multiply that by 10. Since 800 is larger than 7, I can multiply 7 times 100. So I'm going to start by multiplying 7 times 100. 7 times 100 is 700. I'm going to place 700 directly below 862, making sure I'm lining them up in the ones, tens, and hundreds place. Then I'm going to take away the 700 from 862. When I do that, I will have a total of 162 left. What I basically just did is I took 700 and set them into one group. Now I have 162. I have to think, how many times can 7 go into 162? Now, this, the easiest way to do this is by looking at multiples of 10. I know 7 times 10 is 70, but 7 times 20 is 140, and 140 is very close to 162. So I'm going to start with 7 times 20. And like I said, 7 times 20 is 140. Now we have 140 accounted for by that 7 times 20. So I'm going to subtract that portion. When I do so, I have 22 left. So now again, I'm going to look at how many times can 7 go into 22. I know 7 times 3 is 21, so I'm going to do 7 times 3. And that would be 21. So just like I did with my 700, my 140, now with my 21, I'm going to subtract. When I do so, I have one left. So now there's nothing else I can take away. One is less than seven. So I'm going to add up the numbers that I was multiplying times seven to get my total. So I'm going to add 100 plus 20 plus 3 and get a grand total of 123. Now in this particular problem, I still had 1 left over. So if you recall, if I have anything left over, it will become a remainder. So the answer to 862 divided by 7 is 123 with a remainder of 1. Let's look at another example. In this problem, I have 784 divided by 3. Again, I'm going to look at the hundreds place. If I only did 3 times 100, that would work, but I would still have a lot left over. I could, though, do 3 times 200, and it would be 600, which is going to be a lot closer. So in this case, I'm going to do 3 times 200. So 3 times 200 is 600. I'm going to take 600 away from 784, and I'll have 184 left. So now, this time I'm going to be looking at how many times can 3 go into 184. Again, it's easiest to do it with multiples of 10. So I know 3 can go into 18 6 times. So 3 times not 6, but 3 times 60 would be close to 184. 3 times 60 is 180. So again, I'm going to subtract, and I'll have 4 left over. 4 this time, although it's a small number, it is still bigger than 3. So I can still divide further. I know 3 can go into 4 one time. 3 times 1 is 3. So then I'm going to subtract 4 times 3, and I will have one left over. Again, just like before, I'm going to take my different quotients, my 260 and 1, and add them together, and I will get a total of 261. I do still have my 1 remainder left over, just like I did last time, so now my answer will be 261 divided by 1.
So as you see in this, pro this process or this strategy, you're able to use multiplication facts that are easy and part um, that you easily know and think about our place values of hundreds, tens, and ones to be able to divide and break up that division into different chunks. So again, the partial quotient method of dividing, we look at multiples of the divisors that are subtracted from the dividend and then the partial quotients are added together. I hope that you found this helpful. Please Click like below and subscribe for more lessons from the Math Maniac.